Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Another sophisticated report tool which you can use is the subreport. A subreport is created in the same manner as a normal report, but it is then embedded within a main report as a report object, and it cannot contain another subreport within it. This allows you to access and display information from two unrelated reports in a single report, or to display multiple views of report data in a single report. You can create either linked or unlinked subreports. Unlinked subreports simply have no relationship between the records displayed in the subreport and the records displayed in the main report. The data is unrelated to each other in much the same way unlinked data in tables is unrelated. In linked subreports, the data in the subreport is matched up to data in the primary report. For example, if you create an employee report, you could create a linked subreport that displays the orders for each employee in the orders table. And this is used as another way of displaying the one-to-many type join between data and related tables at times. To create a subreport, you can select insert from the menu bar and then just choose subreport, or you can click the insert subreport button in the insert toolbar. And this will invoke the insert subreport dialog box. In this dialog box, you can select how you want to create the subreport using the two options displayed. You can either choose an existing report or create a subreport with the report wizard. If you select the first option, then click the browse button to invoke the open dialog box where you can choose which report you want to embed as a subreport within the main report. And then just click the open button. If you wanted to create the subreport on the fly within the primary report, you could instead choose the latter option and then just click the report wizard button to step through the creation of a standard report. You can also check the on-demand subreport which is similar to a hyperlink to create a subreport which doesn't display its data until the user double clicks on the subreport link to drill down and display the subreport data on a separate preview tab. They are displayed within their own object frame in the main report, which reduces the amount of display space required within the main report. In addition, data from an on-demand subreport isn't accessed from the database until the user double-clicks on the subreport to display the detailed data. You can later access the subreport object and change its caption using the format editor. Assuming you wanted to create an unlinked subreport, you could just click the OK button at this point and then click into the report at the place where you wanted to display the subreport data. However, if you wanted to create a linked subreport, you must then click the Link tab in the Insert Subreport dialog box. When you create a link between the primary report and the subreport, they are linked by a parameter field created by the linking process. The parameter field is then used as a reference for the subreport's record selection formula, which filters the records displayed. So here we would select, for example, our employee ID. Down below then, in the container report fields to link to, after selecting the name of the field, and clicking the right pointing arrow to move it into the fields to link to list at the right side of the dialog box. At the bottom of the dialog box, you then use the drop down at the left side to select the parameter field to use from the primary report and the associated field from the subreport to use for the link from the drop down at the right side. Once the association between the fields has been created, then you can click OK at the bottom of the dialog box. You can then click into the position within the report at which you want to place the linked subreport. Here we're going to preview it. And notice because the subreport has parameter values, we would need to fill those in, just as if we ran the report independently. So here we can see all of our different employees 
And if we'd like to see the sales for one of the sales representatives, we can simply click the on-demand subreport which was created to view that in its own separate tab. If we wanted to double check that it was working, we can double click on one of these orders and on the separate tab we can see that they all come from the same employee, which in this case is employee 1, Nancy DeVolio. And they're also all only sales from the year 2000, which was the other parameter which we supplied when we were viewing this in the preview. And once again, when you're done, you can close the preview windows until you're back into your main report. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.